Hello and welcome back to the tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to move each part of the snake to position of the next part. For example, when we move uh, the head to the right, then uh, second part goes to the previous position of the head and so on for each part. So let's begin okay so first thing I'm gonna do is changing the 0.5 seconds uh, value here so I need a new variable to replace with this value I'm gonna create a variable and call this move rate and the initial value is going to be 0.5 seconds and I'm gonna change the 0.5 to move rate Done. all right so next thing I'm gonna do is moving each part of the snake to the previous position of the next part so for doing that I need to add two variables for getting the previous position so let's click on a snake and family instance variable here add new instance variable and I'm gonna call this prep X and the next one is going to be prep Y okay all right as you can see we have the first object of the snake or head of the snake here that moves by hitting hitting arrow keys on the keyboard so we want to move the other parts just click on this event hit B button and double click system and for each snake object and we want to say every uh, snake object except the first one should move so just copy this event and paste it here and change this one to greater than one that means every snake object except the first one should go to previous position of the next part of the snake so for getting the next part of the snake we need to uh, use this event so just hit B button double click and f a snake compare instance variable and n is when n is equal to snake dot n minus one that means the next part if the number of a snake is three the f a snake or the next part is going to be two so this object should go to the previous position of this object and we want to say that in here so add action a snake and set position to f a snake dot prev x and f a snake dot prev y so next thing I'm gonna do is uh, getting the previous position of each Part of the snake so for getting that I need to do that before any move of the snake and uh, it's going to be a function that calls here so let's go ahead and create that function just click on this group hit B hit F and let's call the function uh, set prev pose pose okay and hit OK. All right. So because I want to set previous position uh, of each S snake, I need to use a for each event here. So just uh, hit B and copy this event and paste it here. And I'm going to put it above of uh, these events here because we want to call the function before any move so I need to call the function for each snake and for setting uh, previous positions uh, for each snake I need to use a parameter here so I'm going to I'm going to click on this function and hit P for parameter and I'm gonna call this UID or a unique ID of a snake so hit OK and 
just here at action functions and uh, set previous pose and uh, we here we want to get the UID of each snake so just write snake dot UID okay and here I want to say if a snakes UID is equal to UID here add action snake set value prep x is going to be current x so it's going to be self dot x and copy paste prep y self dot y and let's run the game as, and see how it looks okay I'm going to hit any key down left down left up and right and as you can see it works perfectly all right uh, there is a little issue in the game that we want to fix it in this video so let me show you that issue first okay we have the snake and I'm going to write and when I hit down and left very quickly it goes back to the uh, inverse position so that works for up and down and uh, any other position when I hit two keys very quickly so for uh, fixing that bug I need to go ahead and create a new variable I'm gonna call this move flag and uh, I want to uh, set the move flag to one in front of any arrow key action events here so just click on add action system set value move flag to one and I'm gonna copy and paste it here okay and uh, I want to say when move flag is equal to one then change the move direction so for doing that just hit B and put this event here and system here compare vari uh, variable and move flag to one if move flag is equal to one then do these events and actions and let's run the game and as you can see when I hit right and down and left it worked okay it doesn't work so what's wrong here oh I need to set that to zero here after uh, changing the direction so just it just copy and paste and set it to zero and copy and paste it here and run again and as you can see it won't happen again and that's good so in the next video I'm going to show you how to do the wrapping in the game that means when we have the snake and the snake goes out of the play area then come from the other side so thanks for watching and have a great time